Hi, I'm JJ Virgin, nutrition and fitness expert of JJVirgin.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about burst training because I get asked about this all the time. I think because it's so intriguing to finally learn that you can get fit fast, and I'm talking minutes a day. So let me tell you a little bit about burst training and then specifically how do you burst train correctly so that you'll never have excuses if I run into you. Burst training or high intensity interval training is where you do an all out full body exercise for 30 to 60 seconds and then rest, I call it active recovery, and then do it again to accumulate four to 12 total minutes of bursting. Now I'll tell you honestly, it'll probably be more like four to eight minutes because if you can go past that, my guess is you're not bursting hard enough. And how hard should you burst? As hard as you possibly can. This is not something you use a heart rate monitor for because let's face it, by the time your heart rate's up high enough, you'll probably be on the floor. You want to use rating of perceived exertion and you should feel like on a scale of four to 20, you're at like an 18, 19, 20. That means your thighs are screaming, your lungs are burning, you're really out of breath. And again, for 30 to 60 seconds, hey, we can handle that, right? So, 30 to 60 seconds, actively recover because the lactic acid you produce during the 30 to 60 seconds, you can buffer that and actually use it as a fuel source during that active recovery and then repeat. What are my favorite ways to burst? Well, you can do swimming, you can do biking, you can do sprinting, jogging, running, walking, you can do stair climbing and that's either using an exerciser, one of my favorite ways to burst, a step mill or actual stairs. That's one of the favorite things I do when I'm in hotels is I go use the hotel stairwells and I'm always all by myself. So if you're looking for an inexpensive gym, hotel stairwells are the way to go. You can jump rope, Turkish get-ups or burpees. Those two are especially awful, <laughs> I will tell you. But again, let's take walking and jogging as an example. You wanna start out, warm up, increase the blood flow overall to your body, okay? So start with an easy walk and then go as hard as you can. Now, this is relative to you. So for you, that might be a jog or it might be an all out sprint. It doesn't matter. It's as hard as you can go for 30 to 60 seconds. And then you'll actively recover. So you'd walk again. Then you'd sprint 30 to 60 seconds, walk for a minute or two. Sprint, walk, sprint, walk. Again, to accumulate four to eight total minutes of bursting. And you wanna do that three days a week. Now, when you do that, what happens? You raise growth hormone. It helps keep your hair, skin, and nails young. It helps you build muscle. It helps you repair and recover better. The other thing that burst training helps you do is handle stress better. It actually trains your sympathetic nervous system on how to handle stress better. All of this without that big immune system hit that you take when you do a lot of endurance style training. Plus, we also knock out all of those excuses, let's call them what they are, that you might have for not fitting your workout in because now you can do burst style training in literally minutes a day. So let me show you how to do this and how not to do this using the exerciser. This is what I see people doing wrong. It's kind of like the same thing you'll see with people on those Stairmasters at the gym where they're leaning over, supporting their body weight and just bouncing around. The reason this is wrong is I'm taking the pressure off my quads. To do this correctly, you're going to bend down and already you'll start to feel your quads scream a little bit because they have to hold you in position. My shoulders are over, my hips are over my heels and then I'm going to drive through my heels, keeping the pressure always on my quads. I'm never fully straightening a leg. Quads are the thigh muscles, right? In front of the thigh muscles. If you want to make this harder, you can hold on to dumbbells and add in this. And I like adding in some upper body movement too, because now I'm also working my shoulders, triceps, biceps, upper back, and I'm putting even more balance and core work in. So I get a lot more bang for my exercise buck, right? So that wasn't even what, that was maybe 10, 20 seconds. I'm already getting a little out of breath and breathing hard. And again, remember for it to be counted as exercise, you need to be breathing heavy, sweaty, and it should hurt a bit. If it's not, it ain't exercise. I'm JJ Virgin, I'm encouraging you, no, I'm telling you to burst to blast fat.